next are the uh, neuroimaging techniques. Two types of neuroimaging techniques are used to diagnose neurological disorders, structural and functional. Structural neuroimaging techniques are used to identify structural changes that are due, for example, to strokes, tumors, blood clots, degenerative diseases and infections, and include computerized axial tomography and magnetic resonance imaging. Computerized axial tomography is also known as computed axial tomography or just computed tomography. It uses x-rays to obtain images of horizontal slices of the brain. Magnetic resonance imaging uses strong magnetic fields and radio waves to obtain cross-sectional images of the brain. Advantages of CAT are that it costs less than an MRI, provides images more rapidly, and unlike MRI, doesn't require the patient to be motionless for a long period of time. Also, unlike MRI, computerized axial tomography can be used with patients who have pacemakers, metal plates, or other metal in their bodies. Advantages of MRI are that it produces three-dimensional and more detailed images and doesn't require the use of radiation. MRI is frequently used not only to obtain structural information about the brain and spinal cord, but also other internal structures of the body. Functional neuroimaging techniques provide information about brain structure and indirect information on neuronal activity by assessing regional cerebral blood flow, oxygen consumption, or glucose metabolism. These techniques include the three that are listed in the slide. When using positron emission tomography, the person is injected with a radioactive tracer that's taken up by active brain cells. Single photon emission computed tomography is similar to positron emission tomography, but is easier and less expensive to use, but produces less detailed images. And functional magnetic resonance imaging is similar to an MRI, but provides information on changes in blood oxygenation and flow. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at some questions now. Here's the first question. <clears throat> Research suggests that the blank is responsible for attaching fear and other strong emotions to neutral stimuli associated with the traumatic event that caused the development of PTSD. A, amygdala, B, medulla, C, substantia nigra, or D, caudate nucleus. <clears throat> 